Hello and welcome back to Mean Green Sports Zone. I'm Whitley Pleasant. There have been a lot of talented running backs in the history of North Texas, but standing at the top of the mountain is Lance Dunbar, leaving UNT with, with first in rushing yards and touchdowns and all purpose. But even with all of those accolades, he was unable to be drafted, but somehow ended up on the Cowboys' 53-man roster. I got a chance to speak to Lance to talk about his journey from college to the NFL. From disaster to triumph, former North Texas student Lance Dunbar has made it to the next level, which a lot of college athletes don't get to see. I got the chance to catch up with Lance to talk about his big transition from UNT to America's team. When you were back in Louisiana, you were forced to move back in 05, 2005? 06. 06, okay. When, because of Hurricane Katrina. Like, what was that like, having to pick up and move in such a short amount of time? It was, it was crazy, you know. It was, it was like starting all over, you know. It was unplanned, you know. It was just, it was just going, going with the flow. Mm -hmm. and it was hard at times, but, you know, we fought through. Well, that's good. Now, when you, whenever your family settled back down in Texas, in Halton City, correct? Yes. Yeah, when you were in high school, I mean, your junior and senior year, you were the man back at Halton City High School. You had 2,200 combined rushing yards and you made the first team all district team your junior and senior year. Like, that's that's huge, that's huge achievements at a young age. Like, what was that like? It was just, you know, it was fun, exciting, you know, just to mm -hmm. do, have fun, you know, play with my teammates, you know, make big plays and, you know, establish myself. Start, it's like fun all over, you know. I came, made plays and try to make the best for, my, for me. Okay, and I know after graduation you were excited to take your talents, you know, to the next level. Why did you choose North Texas? Because uh, my my head coach is Halton. Mm -hmm. He was a uh, he, he uh, got the job at North Texas as receiver coach, okay. and me and, him, me and him was real real tight. And uh, he asked me to give him a chance, and I promised <laughs> I, I couldn't, you know, just me person I am. You yeah. know, I had to follow through with what I said. So was North Texas your first choice? No, it's Oklahoma State. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, that's cool. Okay, now your college career accomplishments were amazing. I mean, you broke the school record for rushing yards, and you were the you had 100, no, excuse me, a thousand rushing yards for the first season. I mean, the list goes on. <laughs> so, what were your thoughts when you found out you you know you made school history? You know, I was excited. You know, that was my goal from you know just before I was going there. You know, my goal was to be the best there was at North Texas. Mm -hmm. You know, my teammates helped me accomplish those goals. You know, it was fun, exciting. It was a lot of memories. Yeah, do you still keep in contact with a lot of people? Yeah, I still talk to them, go to the games, you know, yeah. support them. You know, we were all real, real uh, tight, real close still. Okay. Now, uh, I actually saw you at the Louisiana Lafayette game, so what was that like, you know, being a spectator and not actually playing in the game? It was different, you know, just to see them out there fighting by themselves, me not being with them, you yeah. know, on the field, making plays with them. You know, just to see them grow, how they how they grow in the past year, you know, and, you know, just Having fun with it. Too, do you ever miss college ball? <laughs> yeah, I do sometimes. But everybody enjoy playing college ball, you know, just the atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, just camaraderie and just going to school every day, you know, having fun with your teammates. Yeah, okay. And moving on to your now professional career, career, you were actually passed over in the 2012 NFL draft because of your size concerns. How did that make you feel? You know, it just made me work harder, you know, just humble me, just keep working, you know, just to, I had to prove people. I've been having to prove people all my life, you know. Mm -hmm. Just give me more motivation. It makes me work harder, you know, just to go out there and just to show them. Okay. <laughs> so, what does your family have to say about that? You know, they they excited. They stick behind me, whatever I do. You know, so they they've been they've been good for me. You know, helping me out, pushing me. You know, just whatever I want to do. You know, they 100% behind me, pushing me. Okay. And then, did you pick the Cowboys, or did the Cowboys pick you? Well, the Cowboys picked me, and I picked them. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of worked out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when I you had a choice. Well, another team offered me, but I wanted, I wanted to stay close. And what was know. that other team? Uh, Atlanta Falcons. Oh, Atlanta. So that's good. You like to stay close to your family. Yeah. You know. Okay. Now, whenever you made the 53-man roster, what was your reaction to that? I was excited, you know. That's what I've been working for, you know. And I finally got a chance, and they gave me a chance. And I, I was very excited, you know. It's, it's like it made my day. <laughs> now, since you've been here at the, you know, on the Cowboys team, um, have the other players been giving you a little hard time since you're kind of like the new kid on the street? Yeah, they, you know, that comes with the job, you know, being yeah. a rookie. We, all the rookies, have, they give us a hard time all the time. So, you know, we used to it now, you know, just laugh it off. <laughs> so what would you say for all the other college 
collegiate players trying to make it to the big league, what would you say to them? Just believe in yourself, keep working, you know, and things will happen. You've got to believe in yourself first, most of all. If you don't believe in yourself, then, you know, nobody else will. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and what, was your, what is your next goal that you wish to accomplish in your, uh, in your football career? Yeah, just be, be the best at what I do. You know? That was my goal throughout all my high school, college, you know, whatever I do, I want to be the best. You know, I got to work towards that, you know, and see what happens. We'll be looking for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. And and, and that was a great interview, and, and speaking of, of Lance Dunbar, I had the pleasure of meeting him, being a close acquaintance with him, along with Riley Dodge, you know, four years ago when he was a freshman, and, and I just wish the best of luck for him on the Dallas Cowboys. Well, coming up after the break, we're going to talk about Conference USA, our how is UNT is going to replace their graduating seniors, as well as our prediction on who's going to win today's homecoming game, North Texas or Arkansas State. <laughs> 